In this tutorial you will learn how to use external interrupts, make buses, interrupts are divided into hardware interrupts, software interrupts, a hardware interrupts may be INT0, INT1, INT2, You can see all three interrupts in this circuit I have made, connected to different switches via 1K resistors using pull-up technique. Now let us make a bus in Proteus. Connect all the pins of the microcontroller you need to bus and label them with a unique tag. We will use this tag later. Now connect an out of each LED to the bus and label it with one of the tags from before. This will electrically connect this LED to the pin with same tag. Now open code vision AVER and make new project. Choose at Mega 16 microcontroller. Go to interrupts and enable all three interrupts. Select rising edge for all interrupts. Go to Program menu and click Generate, Save and Exit. Save the files and begin to code. Change the name of ISR for each interrupt. ISR stands for Interrupt Service Routine. It is the function that is called each time an interrupt occurs. Interrupts cause the program to leave the normal sequential flow and perform special function specified by ISR. After this function completes, the program goes back to where it was before the interrupt occurred. Define new name for each pin that LED is attached to. Write code to toggle the each LED from present state to other state in respective ISR. Remove the automatically generated code for I.O. ports. The code below it is for enabling interrupts in the EAVR. Leave it as it is. Make port A output port and set it to off in the start.
go to project and click build all. This will generate a hex file. Go to Proteus and load this file into the microcontroller's flash memory. Clicking the Run button will start the simulation. Click one of the buttons and respective LED will turn on. If you click the same button again, the LED will turn off. Thank you for watching.